hey guys welcome back to my second channel more f and in today's video i'm going to tell you what you should do when you sign Jaden sancho as a man united player in fts career mode yes guys Jaden sancho is almost close for signing with man united so i thought why not make a video on a realistic transfer humor and how you can use him in fts because this is how like the mods will be made so the first of all the thing is that man united have a very low budget 44.9 million which is not that good and whatever mod you use man united won't have such a high budget like 100 of uh, 80 million no they will have close to 40 or 50 million but Jaden sancho won't be available in chip guys he would at least come within 32.5 or so yes guys 32.5 is the exact amount of money you need to pay for Jaden sancho if like you are using my mod anyway now the thing is that is the formation formation of course the one formation that Ole Gunnar Schalzer uses 4-2-3-1 formation guys completely 4-2-3-1 formation Jaden Sancho has to play in the uh, left wing side guys though he's a right winger but he has to play as an attacking left midfielder the the style has to be attacking and though Jaden Sancho like he has too much pace hence we need to put a player who has equal amount of pace with Jaden Sancho almost equal and that's none other than Anthony Marshall he has 87 pace guys the speed I'm talking about Jaden Sancho has 85 so both will be a link up duo in the Man United side so now the thing is that Jaden Sancho doesn't have that much tackling ability. So you need to have a midfielder to support Sancho who knows how to tackle and that is not Donny van de Beek guys, that is Nemanja Matic. His tackling is insane as well as the main thing you need to take a look is the strength guys. Nemanja Matic is 82 in the strength. So you need to take a look at that. And the wing backs has to have huge pace guys wing back has to have huge space and that is Van Bissaka and Luke Shaw if you have signed Jaden Sancho the main thing you have to know is that apply the amount of pace the speed has to be high for the side whole team has to have a high speed guys otherwise it might end up like a fail position for Jaden Sancho so now the thing is that is the roles roles right corner taker it has to be Jaden Sancho the left corner taker take it with anyone I will go with Bruno here the free kick taker Jaden Sancho guys he's 79 in set pieces so you can take the free kicks with Jaden Sancho and if you can you can take the penalties as well so this is what the formation was the kind of things you need to do while signing Sancho and everything now let's come to the game and i'm going to use Jaden sancho here as a star player so that you can just like fully f see what we need to do main thing is that as Jaden sancho has space Jaden sancho has to go to this kind of a position guys you need to ask for a part like you need to pass Jaden sancho in this kind of a position so that he can activate the pace and pass the ball or cross the ball so that a player can easily shoot it in the net that's why the players you have seen I have are very good in shooting guys the reason is only one thing that we need to like activate the pace with Jaden Sancho and finish he's a kind of a pace activator guys so you need to do that so as you can see I'm putting Jaden Sancho completely on here so that I can ask for a pass whenever the ball comes in. Don't get him in the middle guys. Don't get him in the middle. Never try and get him in the middle. Just get him on the wing side guys. Okay wait just let me just let you know like. Uh, camera distance is 100% okay so then it's fine try and get Jaden Sancho as much as you can in the wing guys he's like he's a pace man he just loves to activate the pace here you go you have to pass it from here yes 
there you go down the wing you can either shoot it oh my god it's just pause you can either shoot it or go for a pass so as you say here you go but that is what you need to do guys pass to Jaden Sancho as much as in the free space and in the wing the main thing is the wing he's a he's a prolific winger you can't make him play in the middle guys try and keep Jaden Sancho as much as you can on the wing completely down the side so that like you can activate the pace with Jaden Sancho and you know go for a cross oh there you go insane as I told you the dribbling of Jaden Sancho is just top class uh, the one is shooting is shit it's going let's go 2-0 Jaden Sancho is not that good with shooting. His shooting is just uh, where it's gone. Yeah, it's just uh, 70, 78. So it's not that good. It's good, but it's not that good. So you need to have a goal poacher, and Cavani is the one. So you need to attack Jaden Sancho as much as you can from the wing. But you have to take a look that it's not an offside. The main thing is that it shouldn't be offside, guys. Oh my god, what what was he trying to do for so long? Couldn't even like score. The problem is that you can't just shift so much on the wing, but you can't even go so much in the middle, guys. Like you have to be at least in a position like this so that the ball comes to you and you're in a free space here. The reason I've chosen attacking is that so that the p defenders can like remain at the back and Jaden Sancho can uh, activate his pace. So you have to go much as you can at the back, okay? Like, sorry, in the wing, okay? Here you go, here you go. That's what I was telling. And then go for a shot. Didn't go in anyway, it went in. That's what I'm telling guys. Go as much you, as you can in the wing with Jade and Sancho. Sorry for that. It's just a garage which opened. And try and play as much amount of short passes you can play with Jade and Sancho. Okay? Try and play as much amount of short passes as passing is just too good. And yet again, go on the wing. Go on the wing. Now if the players can't pass, what can I do here? What oh, seriously, the players aren't even passing, man. This, this sucks. Now don't activate, okay so that's what I was telling you guys, it's an offside but I hope you can pass it correctly. So don't activate pace for Jaden Sancho when he is in like here, this is the moment when you should activate pace. When you see a defender coming near Sancho, go for a chip pass with your another player. Because Jaden Sancho as I said doesn't have the strength. So you can't like go for short that is that is great. That is great. Great in the play. So this is how guys his short passing is just so good. You need to just shoot from the front. Like shoot from the front. Box to box. You have to play box to box with Jaden Sancho. Because he's that kind of a player in real life as well. He is a box to box winger he's not a wide winger at all he's a box to box winger so you need to use him in a box to box position and you need to keep the players in their position not change the position so alright so that would be helping to more uh, you know like fill the position of Jaden Sancho let him attack completely so there you go I hope you like understood everything how you can use Jaden Sancho 
and the next thing is that coaching thing to train Jaden Sancho to increase his rating okay yet another one yet another sound sorry guys anyway so to do it don't do it like in the all round one it won't just help do it in the distribution so that you can increase the passing of Jaden Sancho this thing crossing crossing has to be improved he's just 73 but his passing is too good so that's what I was all talking to you guys about yet I will just show you yet another game of how like you can take Jaden Sancho in the side play with him another game with like make it all so as Nemanja matches I would just heal the players because it doesn't matter I would just heal the players here you go now the next game is with Roma let's see what we can do here the same way Jaden Sancho needs to play attack from the wing guys now I will just go with I went to star player match now let's do with the whole team so as you can see don't put Jaden Sancho on the midway okay we can see it man that, 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 that doesn't work there there you can see he's completely on the wing that's what guys he's completely on the wing now wait now look on where Jaden Sancho is okay now pass the ball find find him clear and in a position like this guys so that he can activate the pace and mostly he doesn't have any defender there that's why I told you guys to just pass the ball in the middle of the box to box line like a position like here guys this is the exact position you can pass to Jaden Sancho so that he can activate the pace and they that should there should be not there should not be a single defender there and just try to make as many short passes as you can play there you go this is what I was telling you about and um, it's worked his crossing is just like the long ball he just produces it's just too good as you can see and try mostly to pass swing like the balls must swing so that Jaden Sancho has like he just his balls just swing too much okay okay now first let Jaden Sancho go up front for that you need to go for a long shot but anyway Cavani got that I don't know why okay I think star player was much better now pass Try and get some swing balls with Jaden Sancho. That works out really well, guys. Because his swing passing is much better than the straight normal crosses. I don't know where on earth is Jaden Sancho. Why the players like move from their positions, it makes it so bad. Like The reason I made it an attacking formation is that mostly one, one thing will happen for sure is that Paul Pogba will come in and Paul Pogba's heading is 83. Nemanja Matic's heading is not that good. Bruno's heading is 82. So this is the reason why I'm making and let the players go with an attacking formation is that the players will come up front. Jaden Sancho can easily cross the ball then the headers can be picked up easily don't go for short passes with Jaden Sancho in the wings when he's in the wing don't go for short passes go for crosses all right well uh, what is happening don't go for short passes when he's in the wing okay I know I couldn't make it on points guys it will take me a lot of time but I hope you can understand what I am saying it might be a little like blabberish in the beginning but it will end up giving you the correct thing 
what you can make while Jaden while you sign Jaden Sancho uh, in the Man United side in the career mode. Now now you see this is the kind of attack. Find the space where there is no player. Oh my God. Ah. So yes, now the corner thing. Corner definitely. As I told, try to get the long balls as much far you can because there would be a player someone like Lindelof who has a good heading so this is what you need to take a look guys find as much space as you can with Jaden Sancho it, it, work, it works a lot because his strength is not that high and strength depends much to like uh, battle with the ball so that is what you need to take a look find as much space as you can with Jaden Sancho not within the three defenders no not at all guys it might end up like giving away the ball that you can't afford to so find as much space and that would work perfectly guys whenever you see this one or two defenders up front you can go for the passing the short passing because his passing is also too good because don't try to dribble with Jaden Sancho his skills are not that good here might be good in FIFA might be good in real life but not in FTS guys none of the players not even Messi's skill is good in FTS so what are you talking about Jaden Sancho wow I literally missed a like what did, what did I miss here anyway guys so that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon hope you guys understood what i said oh my 30.3 million <laughs> that's great anyway so hope you guys understood what i said on like how to use jade and sancho for manchester united in the career mode series and also subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and like the video and also don't forget to drop your suggestions on the comment section below what next we should make like on which next player the suggestions the tutorials we should make surely drop it in the comment section below until we meet the next time goodbye guys i will see you back in the next dotman curry mode series episode bye